you go back to 1972 and you look in the congressional records, and I think it was in the middle of the year, there was Army representatives uh, giving testimony in front of uh, a congressional committee stating that there can be mind control waves uh, that could piggyback human brain waves, and people think it's coming from their own thoughts, but they can be controlled. Yes. And they said that that was back in 1972, in the beginning of the Montauk Project, and they were saying how, how vital that would be for national security. Y so that's yeah. a long, 37 years ago, and that was uh, being discussed. Right, and that's from the ELF. Mm -hmm. And they knew that even back then, and so you can just imagine what they've done since that time. That, that's right, that's right. And I, I told you about the, um, the time down in lower Manhattan. It, there was a billboard, and it had, uh, uh, had like a speaker on top of it, and it was a billboard from, for some paranormal show that was on cable. Mm -hmm. And when you walked by it, all of a sudden you heard a voice in your head going, turn around, turn around. Do you believe? Do you believe? And you see all these people in the street just freaking out, you know? And, and it, this billboard was advertising in their heads. Mm -hmm. That's that's really amazing. That, that was amazing. That scared the hell out of me. And people hated it so much, they, they kept ripping down this loudspeaker, uh -huh. and they had to keep putting it back up again. But who wants to hear a voice in your head? I mean, is it still there? Uh, you know, I haven't been down there in a while. I think it was on Broom Street. Um, but I went down there, uh, I was going to a bookstore, and I figured, you know, while I'm down there, let me check it out. But I haven't been down there since. But, uh, yeah, you know. Oh, we have a question from the chat room. What does Stuart think, or what is his perception of the constant, loud, high-pitched whistling in our ears? Oh, that, that is uh, ELF that you're hearing. Right. You know, when you, that's one of the symptoms of the ELF, because what happens is that it's an extremely low frequency, mm -hmm. and it keeps the uh, inner ears, uh, the bones, vibrating at a very high rate, and you get that humming or, or buzzing sound in there. That's right. And if it's in uh, the left ear, it's physical, right? It's coming from a physical Correct. source? Correct, yes. And if it's in the right ear, it's coming from a non-physical source? Correct, that's right. Would, would that be from the astral level? Yeah, because the government does use technology in the lower astral levels uh, that can affect the physical. And they, of course, it's much easier to deal with things from that level because it's undetectable and uh, very easily can be manipulated. And how about people who, who claim they hear voices from uh, angels? They think they're talking to their spirit. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one of two things. That's either coming from their programming matrix, or their, what I call the virtual matrix in the mind that mm -hmm. comes forward and, and gives them instructions, and or can be satellite transmissions of ELF waves that piggyback their brain waves, and they think that it's coming uh, from some external angelic force. Right. And then you have the, um, the puppet programming. Mm -hmm. That's from a lot of channelers who are, who, uh -huh. who who claim they switch into uh, another persona yeah. and they start changing their voice and their appearance or they start talking in a foreign language. I know somebody who does that. Oh, there's so many out there that do that. And again, that's all programming that's coming from within their matrix. Uh, sometimes it is triggered by satellite, sometimes uh, cell tower. There's many different forms of triggers. 